think sometimes we have anxiety about making pie dough because it's taught to us in negatives. We're told what not to do. Well, I'm here to tell you what you should do. I'm using my pie crust recipe from my blue ribbon apple pie. I've got my dry ingredients in the bowl and one of my signature moves is to actually coat the flour with three tablespoons of vegetable oil to keep the butter that I add distinct from the flour so you don't overwork it into the pastry. Now, I have my one cup of butter here, but here's a little surprise, it's not ice cold. If you actually let it soften up for about 30 minutes before you add it to your pie dough, you know what? It works into the flour that much faster and that much more evenly. My butter is worked in, so it's a rough crumbly texture, and I know it's going to be tender and flaky because it took hardly any time to work in that cool but not ice cold butter. Now I add a quarter cup of cool water and a little ingredient that does so much, two teaspoons of lemon juice. The acidity in the lemon juice allows the proteins in the flour in that pie dough to relax. Once the dough comes together, it's ready to wrap. And you do need to chill the dough. When it's time to roll out your pie dough, pull it out from the fridge 30 minutes before you want to roll it. If your butter is just slightly softened, then you'll find you don't get those cracks. And then it's ready to tuck, trim, fill, and bake. And now you've got some great tips to make a flawless pie crust. I bet you can't wait to get baking.